will be the last dinner I have with my family. My wife, Sarah, had been with me for 10 beautiful years. I've always told her I wouldn't know what I would do without her, and she always said she felt the same. It was like we shared one mind when it came to how we love each other. This became more apparent when we raised our two rambunctious kids. Our home was always filled with the sound of laughter. This is why we didn't let the kids know when I got diagnosed with cancer. Terminal, the doctor said. It sucks how even people in their 30 seconds get a diagnosis like that. Rather than slowly crumbling and wasting away in a hospital bed, I chose to stay at home. Home, where the warmth of my family will replace the darkness I feel. It's been a couple months already and I fear I'm near the end. Every breath is now a struggle and every movement feels forced. My children have told me I've been looking sick as they played nurse in our room. They said I'll be fine as long as I drank water and the pieces of candy they gave me that they called medicine. I didn't have the heart to tell them, no, daddy won't be. My mind is filled with, with all the responsibilities I leave behind when I'm gone. How will Sarah be able to feed herself and the kids? Will she be able to afford rent? We burn through a lot of cash for my meds and hospital visits. One thing I also think about is how she is a great mother but really, I was the one who took care of the kids. I asked Sarah to help me prepare dinner one last time while I can still move my body. It was really a breeze for her but it was hell for me. I felt too weak to do most of the tasks and the heat was searing. I only added some ingredients while she was off chopping, mixing, and garnishing. When we finished, we didn't even have to call the kids. The aroma that wafted throughout the house was enough to get them out of their rooms and into the dining. I nearly cried when we sat down because it felt like it was one of the thousands of mundane dinners we had before I got sick. I could see the smiles and excitement of my kids looking at the meal we prepared, as I held my wife's hand. As we were about to eat, I told her the words already long engraved in my heart, I don't know what I would do without you. Her unknowing me too was all I needed to know my life had been good and I had done the right things. I then watched my family dive into the last meal I was able to cook, and I can only hope the arsenic I mixed in was enough.